good evening welcome to durga soft online training and welcome to core and advanced python a new batch sir okay of course sir already we covered about this one i mean introduction class everything we have seen already but let me recall for a few minutes so the course is nothing but core and advanced python there is no require prerequisite just you need to have a zeal to learn that's all nothing more than that so if you follow these 40 or 50 classes regularly then you can able to get a full confident on python programming you can able to code anything and the duration of this batch is totally 40 hours we are going to spend and the timings of this batch is every day at 6 pm we have the class 6 to 7 pm every day we will have the class except on weekends but i told sometimes if time permits we will take saturday also okay so sometimes you need to cover multiple choice questions or if if any topic is completed i need to have some kind of uh, previously asked interview questions okay and some key points some kind of revisions coding questions all these things we will discuss on special classes sir because in the 40 hours it may not be that's why so two or three weeks some special class will be there you need to attend that and it is a purely optional because anyway the recordings will be provided and the document also will be provided for you people then almost demos we we, we have taken almost four four demos it seems so probably today will be the last demo if not one more demo will be there okay that depends on our uh, management decision and the fees for this batch is 5000 okay fees for this batch is 5000 and i will provide one contact number at the end you can contact to that and if anyone is missed the previous class recordings you can go through that recording by using this youtube channel sir okay our youtube channel just you need to open and you have to paste the link whatever i have given in the chat window so in that the complete four days demo will be there date wise okay if you want just to have a look once just i'm giving that link here yes so you can see here sir total how many classes are there here almost three classes yes the demo was conducted on third fourth fifth so sixth and seventh are holidays so this is nothing but eighth class sorry this is nothing but uh, fourth class what we have okay so in this the complete syllabus discussion and what plan we have to complete this python course everything we discussed very clearly sir that's why if time permits try to refer that video okay then at the top level these are the uh, 25 chapters that we are going to cover so in detail about these chapters i explained in the demo okay you can refer that demo video where you will get the complete syllabus review uh, maybe it will be available in the first video then introduction to python sir who introduced python how this python name came okay and uh, so what is the importance of this python everything introduction to python we have seen and what is a python official website sir i want to download a latest version of python you can go to this website it is a freeware you can able to download and you can able to install sir i want to know what is the latest release what new concepts are there in this latest release you can open this website and you can view sir every information about the python you are going to get in this website if you want you can take it as a bookmark if you are if you are working on python or anything just you will get the updates also sir okay then so we have discussed about the companies which are using python sir no need to give any uh, uh, introduction for this every company nowadays they are using python sir so the top five mnc companies i have listed google youtube nasa dropbox netflix okay sir we have n number of companies are there even we have she, uh, we have uh, seen some kind of image also um, the companies uh, which are using python maybe is it available 
yeah, companies using Python. You can able to see this image. So these are the different companies which are using Python nowadays. Not only this, sir, we have n number of companies are there, but just I downloaded one image from the Google. At the time, it is the nothing but list what we have. Netflix, JP Morgan, NASA, YouTube, Yahoo, Udemy, Uber, okay, Bank of America, Amazon. You can see maybe almost every company at least you have heard about these names okay sir every company is using python sir next and after that what softwares are required to work with python sir i am in learning stage what softwares are required for us to practice the programs yes we need an editor and we have to download the latest version of python what is a python latest version 3.10 okay you need to download this 3.10 and you need to install in your mission so in today's class i am going to explain this installation process also then so you can install any ide sir but as of now i am not recommending any ide maybe in the middle of the course we will introduce some ides okay and for editor you can use our own notepad or we have notepad plus plus software is there or edit plus also we can use edit plus means i think you are seeing right where i am typing this program is nothing but edit plus of course we have registered of keys there for that i will provide once if the regular classes started and we have seen how you can able to prepare a sample python program suppose if i have a demo.py program is there in c drive prakash classes demo.py so what is the working current working directory where we have saved this file in c drive there is one subfolder is there with the name prakash classes under that i created demo.py if you want you can able to see sir sir i have this c drive is there in this prakash classes is there sir in this um, maybe some test.demo test.py or demo.py like that i have so if you want to run the program you need to go to command prompt and you need to shift to this particular drive sir where i am going to get command prompt of course i pin to my start window but you can type command okay then you are going to get like this originally it was there in c colon users k prakash babu like that so to come out from this you can give cd backslash and to join into this prakash classes you can take like this sir now already i have test.py is there if i am printing any message like hello just save the program and then we have one predefined command is there sir to run the program what is that command is py py space file file name dot py if you take then it is going to display what is the output of your program but make sure in your program if you have written any code to read the input you have to supply from the command prompt itself okay so let us execute this small short application what output we are going to get sir you can see here i am getting hello sir not only double quotation you can take the data in single quotation also so hello prakash how the classes are going like this like this i have given some message just to save the content and run the program sir do you know uh, in python if you want to take the strings we can represent in single quotation you can represent in single quotation or we have one more option is there you can take in double quotation also or we have one more option is there single triple quotation also we can take or we have one more option is there sir triple double quotations also we can take sir why these many representations are there for this also a small story is there we are going to cover top three reasons why these many options we have okay anyway in upcoming classes we will discuss about that then we have seen some basic programs how to print uh, some message on the screen by using edit place and how you can able to execute the basic code snippets uh, by using ide 
okay and what kind of approach our python is going to follow sir very simple our python is functional oriented programming our python is object oriented programming our python is going to support scripting approaches object oriented everything is there sir that's why i can use the word called python is all rounder it is going to su provide support for every type sir sir total how many python versions are there there are three versions are there of course we are not going to talk in detail about python 1 version and python 2 version the stable version what we have is 3.x okay and in 3.x we have almost multiple sub versions are there but in this the latest version is 3.10 anyway today we are going to see how to install this one also what is the difference between that with a small example i demonstrated and how the name python came for what is the reason behind this we discussed in the last video then sir how to write a program to perform addition of two numbers by using scripting programming how you can able to write same thing by using functional programming how you can able to write what benefit we are going to get that part also i have discussed and even i am going to talk about one small mini project maybe in the tomorrow session sir total how many versions are there we covered very clearly okay uh, yeah maybe we have written in the file everything and uh, sir program what is the definition of program we have seen what is the meaning of programming language we have seen and even we have seen one example program how you can able to convert each and every character present in the string into swap case why uh, swap case that means if it is in the lower case characters i need to convert it to upper case if it is in upper upper case characters we need to convert it to lower case like that how you can able to do for this we have different versions are there all these things we discussed very clearly in the last video sir okay now in today's session the first first topic what we are going to talk is nothing but python installation process sir i want to install python software in our mission so what we have to do sir first we have to go to the official website we have to go to the official website so what is the official website http colon yes double slash www dot sir python dot org you need to take this website sir from this we have to download okay latest version sir as of now what is the latest version we have on a 3.10 okay of course so uh, every time the installation of this software and removing uninstalling this software again for new batch again installing the python software it is very difficult for me my system configuration is going to be disturbed that's why so i don't want to uninstall my system uh, my python software and i don't want to perform reinstallation again so for that purpose i prepared one short video sir okay i prepared one short video just i will play that video that video will give clarity how you can able to install python software in your mission before playing that video can you please confirm up to this whatever i covered revision whatever i covered revision all these things sir do you have any doubts sir please confirm everyone if you are having any queries please feel free to ask so that i will go to that uh, video any doubts up to this yes please confirm if you are having any queries right very good sir so now we have yeah very good sir now we have a small short video is there so let us play that video sir which demonstrate uh, uh, this python installation process sir okay yeah sir here python installation is there the python 3.10 installation is there just i am going to play with vlc player so one minute and you need to give some small confirmation also hi friends is audio is coming from this video file or not please confirm python installation installation process is audio is coming. suppose if you want to work with python yes definitely 
we required a python software yes, I think okay is coming so right you need to in video file. install that python software please confirm is audio is coming from this video file or not in your operating yeah very good sir i am playing from the beginning just watch this uh, 10 minutes video sir okay i will be on mute for this 10 minutes if you are having any questions you can post it on chat window hi friends in today's video i want to explain python installation installation process suppose if you want to work with python yes definitely we required python software okay so you need to install that python software in your operating system whether it may be linux or unix or mac os or windows but as of now i am using windows operating system we will try to install python latest version into this particular mission so that follow these steps while installing in your system also so before moving to that i need to check how many versions of uh, python was installed in my mission sir there is one command is there in the command prompt you have to check py space hyphen zero what is that command sir py hyphen zero once if you press enter it will display what are the list of installed python versions in your mission so as a trainer i need to explain every concept for the students that's why these are the installed versions sir total how many versions are installed from 3.1 to 3.9 now i want to install the latest version what is the latest version 3.10 sir how to download that latest version sir you have to go for python.org website okay http colon yes double slash www.python.org okay in this website you can find the latest version of python as of now the latest version of python is nothing but 3.10 let us check whether it is available or not yes download okay download python 3.10.5 just click on this automatically your download is going to be started okay almost it is having 27 mb file let us download it yes sir just to open this show in folder you can see so python 3.10 is there so installing this python software is just like a normal software installation you need to double click this particular exe file so that what will happen so it will ask a welcome page like this install python 3.10.4 sorry 5 64 bit sir don't press directly install now so in the bottom you can see install launcher for all users which is recommended and have you observed add python 3.10 to the path compulsory you have to check this button sir because if you see java or any other programming languages so compulsory you have to set the path that means whatever commands they have given you need to set that commands then only you can able to run your programs but here 3.10 path i want to set automatically while installing the software itself now i want to click on install now sir what happens it will ask for administrative permissions once if you click yes automatically the installation is going to be done sir okay of course definitely it will take some time so please wait for one or two minutes the setup will complete other than that no need to give any credentials all these things just i will be on mute for a few minutes
yes as you can see setup was successful just click on close sir now i need to check really whether it is installed or not again which command you have to type py hyphen zero you can see previously 3.9 is the latest version now 3.10 is nothing but latest version sir we can install 3.9 right why you have installed 3.10 very simple sir now i want to write a program to differentiate uh, what is the difference between these two okay let me take one simple python program observe carefully sir i have taken small x is equal to something like 10 but while printing i am taking capital x okay i have taken small x only but by mistake i have taken capital x in my printing statement how this error is identified by python how this error is identified by python so py space test dot py as of now i want to execute this program in 3.9 version 3.9 version if i execute this program in 3.9 version what error message we got name error sir name x is not defined same program i want to run in 3.10 sir there is a more meaningful error message we are going to get name x is not defined did you mean small x like that it is giving some kind of hint sir one more example i want to take one dictionary like one colon one one of course these topics we will cover in future sir two like this that's all that's all now i want to execute this code in 3.9 sir what it is telling unexpected end of file while parsing let me take in 3.10 have you observed here it is indicating array there is one syntax error closed open bracket you have used which was never closed you have not closed this particular bracket so such a type of more meaningful error messages are introduced in which version python 3.10 not only this one we have so many things are there of course if time permits everything we will discuss in our python course okay so in this video i hope you got clarity how you can able to install python software into your mission right yeah enjoy thank you sir right sir can you please confirm <clears throat> so i hope you got clarity how you can able to install python software into your mission luckily sir when compared with java okay no need to set any path manually sir okay automatically by default the path will be available okay that is the great thing we can able to observe in our python sir could you please confirm do you have any doubts up to these friends yes i request everyone to please respond do you have any doubts up to this do we have any videos for mac os no 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 sir as of now i didn't prepare because i am not using any mac but definitely such a type of resources if any very available i will check and i will update okay yeah definitely the same process will be there maybe the installation file will be different yeah the thing is that in mac we don't have cmd we have terminal so I just downloaded it and when I'm putting it py uh, uh, space hyphen minus zero, it's not taking anything. I, okay, maybe I will check, sir. I will check and I will update it. Okay. Sure, thanks. Yeah, right. Right, friends. So now coming to the next thing. 
okay coming to the next one sir installation is okay installation is okay the next thing the commands which are used in python execution process sir if i if i want to execute any python program what commands we are going to use sir of course basic commands only the first command what we have here is py space test dot py what is the purpose of this command it is used to execute okay it is used to execute python program sir okay so python program it is used to execute python program i think we have seen already py space test dot py sir can i take python space test dot py oh same output we are getting means what it is also a command sir python space test dot py anything you can use okay it is also used to execute your python program right sir third command sir i want to list out what are the available versions py hyphen 0 you can use which is going to be displayed the list of installed versions in our machine luckily we have 3.9 and 3.10 two versions are there sir okay so py hyphen 0 so which list out the installed the installed versions in our machine right sir next one py if i want to view what is the current version which is installed in your machine we can go with version so it will display sir python latest installed version so even though we have two versions are there it will give priority always for latest version sir how many versions we have here two versions are there 3.10 3.9 so which version it is going to consider it as a latest sir python 3.10.5 like that then sir py sir hyphen 3.x space test dot py like this also we can take what is the use of this command so it is used to it is used to execute our python file it is used to execute our python file in 3.x version where x can be from 1 to 10 anything you can take sir a simple example program i am taking sir anyway i have shown there right so x is equal to i have triple nine is there i want to print capital x i want to run this program in 3.9 version sir what output we are getting have a look once sir it is telling name x is not defined you have not defined that x i am not disturbing the program but i am taking 3.10 Sir, what same error we are getting? Name error x is not defined, but there is a small change. Did you mean small x? Or you want to use a small x? Like that it is telling. Of course, we have even n number of uh, new things are there. We will cover those things later in our regular classes. So these are nothing but what are the list of commands what we have, which are used to execute our python program if you want to view the versions we have one command if you want to check what are the installed versions in your mission we have one command sir if you want to execute your python program with respect to the specified version we have one command like that we have different different commands are there sir i think you got clarity on these commands maybe as of now these these commands are working on windows i think so maybe in mac and linux unix we have different uh, uh, maybe there but i think so not but let me check from my side and i will update you okay sir any doubts up to this please confirm everyone yes any doubts up to this please confirm sir i request every student to please respond right very good sir next i want to go with one more example program yeah i think so i need to check sir because with respect to operating system probably same commands will be there maybe let me check from my side okay because majority of the people are using on windows right that's why we prepared and i am working on windows uh, 
that's why maybe okay but we will check right sir now yesterday we have seen some examples right that's why sir i am today also i am going to cover one beautiful examples with the two versions okay maybe in this the terminology is maybe difficult for you people to understand but to try to focus on the concept what i am trying to explain because once if you was right sir so coming to example number 2 sir what is the second example here we are going to discuss is write a python program to find okay to find sum of digits sum of digits present in the given number sir we need to write a program to find sum of digits present in the given number first i will take one example and then i will explain sir i have given number as 1 2 3 4 so what is my expected output what is my expected output is sir 1 is the first digit 2 is the second digit 3 is the third digit 4 is the next digit sir if you take sum what answer we are going to get 3 plus 3 6 plus 4 10 is the answer sir i have 1 9 sir 2 6 is there 1 9 2 6 or let me take one more 2 6 Two uh, is there, sir. What is the number that we are going to get? One plus nine plus two plus six plus two. The output is nothing but ten, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty is the output. Oh, now let me give one, two, three, one. So what output we are expecting? One plus two plus three plus one. Six, seven is the result. For this, we have to write the code, sir. Sir, for this also we have two versions are there. First, let me talk about the logic how it is going to work. Sir, if you take any number, if you take any number, observe carefully, friends. All these things I will explain in our regular classes again. Just demo purpose, right? Just you need to get uh, what uh, uh, I mean. How I can I, I can able to explain these things? You need to get right for that purpose. I am taking. Let me take n is equal to one twenty three. Sir, how to extract digits from this? Sir, you know the number is always not represented from left to right, sir. These numbers are always represented from right to left. This is not correct approach. This is the correct approach. Why? Because if you take this one twenty three, this three is located in unit position. Okay, but this two is located in tens position. Okay. This one is located in hundreds of position. That means how we are representing this number, sir? Hundred into one plus ten into two, twenty. One into three, three. So like this, we got this one twenty three, right? Like this, we are going to represent, sir. How to get a three value first? Because you told that you are going to extract from right to left. How to get this three? Very simple. If you divide one twenty three with ten, modulus division, sir, ten twelve zero one twenty. Whatever remainder you are getting, if you capture that remainder, then we are going to get this three. Sir, I want to get this two. How you can able to do, sir? After dividing this, whatever remain, I mean, whatever coefficient you are getting, take that coefficient again divide with ten. Sir, ten ones are ten. What remainder we are getting two? Is it a digit or not? Yes, perfectly. We got next digit also. How to get this one, sir? Very simple. Again, take this number. So divide that number with ten. Divide that number with ten. Sir, ten zeros zero. Remainder is one. Take this digit. Next, anyway, zero right. That's why we will stop this process. Sir, the first digit is nothing but three. Plus a second digit is nothing but a two. Plus a third digit is nothing but one. In total, we are getting six as the result. This is actually the core concept of what we have. 
of course i will write these lines in the form of instructions but anyway i will explain this in our upcoming classes also sir please confirm up to this do you have any doubts is the logic is clear for you people is the logic is clear for you people yes of course in our uh, looping statements i will talk in detail about that sir i am writing logic initially i am taking sum is equal to 0 sir until the value of n is not equal to 0 until the value of n is not equal to 0 that means whatever number we are giving it should not be equal to 0 of course these brackets are not there in python just i am explaining pseudo code sir okay so your digit is equal to n percentage 10 then you need to add that digit to sum then n is equal to n by 10 that's all at last we have to print some value sir i will take one example here and then i will show you sir if you take 123 what is the first formula you are dividing that number with percentage 10 so if you are taking percentage 10 10 12s are 120 whatever we are getting three because of this percentage we are getting a reminder value because of this normal division we will get this 12 value that's why sir we are getting this three and the sum is equal to sum plus d means we are adding this digit and n is equal to n by 10 means we will get this one okay like this we are getting sir nothing more than this okay of course in detail we will talk later now i want to implement this in my python version 1 I am taking. Sir, have a look once. n is equal to int of input. Let us read the input from the user and try to convert it into integer format. Try to convert it into integer format and the sum is equal to initially 0. Sir, while the value of n is not equal to 0, while the value of n is not equal to 0, you are calculating digit. Digit is equal to n percentage 10 and sum is equal to sum plus d and n is equal to so generally we have to take single slash but in python we need to take double slash that part also we will discuss in our operators section what is the difference between okay what is the difference between so what is the difference between single slash and a double slash we have a big story is there we will talk about that later so after this come out from this while loop just to print the same sum sir try to understand the flow of control but not syntaxes because the syntaxes we are going to learn step by step okay now let me execute this code sir py space test dot py i am taking sir it is waiting for input if my input is one two three four five the sum is nothing but 15 sir if my input is one two three one my output is a seven like this we have this is nothing but the first version of this program how we can able to implement sir at least you got some clarity on this please confirm at least you got some clarity on this please confirm forget about the internal implementation sir because we are going to discuss a while loop there i will explain step by step with the diagram clear up to these friends please confirm right sir being a python programmer if we are writing this many lines of the code it is it is not that much good sir okay so because we are coming from python if you are writing a code even a normal person have to understand so this much code explanation itself uh, it is taking five to ten minutes for me to explain for you sir now i will go with another version sir see how beautiful this version is can you explain can you can you please confirm in version 2 how many lines of the code we are going to write at least any guesses yes please confirm how many lines of the code we are going to write very good two lines oh one line excellent three lines very good one line excellent right 
let me write that code sir let me write that code sir first i will write that code in paint then i will come with solution sir observe carefully sir what is that code here is okay input input for each i value in input can you please convert it into integer can you please push it into a list and then calculate sum and then print that sum or i am not getting this no problem i will explain one by one please have a look once yes sir if you observe here this is nothing but the logic what we have developed right sir i will take one example and then i will explain i will i will take one example and then i will explain sir what is my example here is sir consider the value of n is equal to i have given 123 sir this input is nothing but our input right sir in our previous example we converted that input into integer but in this case i am not converting into integer that means in which format the data will be available in string format sir can you please select one by one character in this input so that what will happen i am getting one as a first character i am getting two as a second character i am getting three as a third character sir whether it is character or a string both are same in python okay sir after this can you please convert that into integer so that i will get one comma two comma three sir there is one predefined function this brackets indicates it is a list frame it in the form of list something like array so for list we have one special function is there called sum sir okay we have one special function is there called sum so what it is going to do sir it will calculate addition internally and it will take the result and it will print on the screen how beautiful it is let me let me hard code this let me hard code this so input that is a string for each i value in the input select that number and convert it into integer sir frame it in a list then calculate some of these elements then print the result now what output we are going to get single line code it will work perfectly sir i am giving one two three is a six is coming or not let me check the previous input one two three four five i am giving is it coming 15 yes sir. let me give seven eight one sir is it coming yes this is the way sir how you can able to implement in second version i think you got clarity how this second version is going to work so when compared with the first version and second version maybe you can feel comfortable with second version sir do you have any doubts on this please confirm yes sir please be active and please respond is it clear up to this is it version 2 means version 2 means another implementation another implementation mr version 2 means another implementation <laughs> sir version 2 in the sense not python version another another version of this program okay not python version <laughs> huh? Yeah, Ganesh, please don't mind. Uh, we will we will get this in uh, again in our regular classes. There you will get clarity. Okay, don't don't mind. Just ignore that's all. You will get maza while learning these things, right? Uh, if they go on changing the rules, then it will be difficult for old scripts which are written one year back. No, in Python sir this python 3 version is stable everyone is thinking version 2 means a second version python 1 version not like that sir sir this is also is running on python 3 this is also python 3 code only version means not with respect to version another way of implementation i can say this is nothing but the first way of solving this problem okay this is nothing but the second way of solving this problem okay 
right yes please confirm everyone is a, is a first way is easy or second way easy please confirm very good excellent sir do you know once if you are very clear with this what was the program that we have developed sir we have written a program to find the sum of uh, digits present in a number sir if you are very clear with this program you can prepare n number of programs on that yeah yeah we will go with uh, uh, in regular concepts we will sir okay don't worry please just try to understand at the top level don't go beyond that we will take multiple examples and we will explain okay sir if you are very clear at sum of digits sir we can write a program for sum of even digits present in the number we can write program for sum of odd digits present in the number we can write program for sum of prime digits present in that number sir then we can add sum of even indexed digits even index digits sir sum of odd indexed digits even index odd index means what if you take 1 2 3 4 it is zero eighth location first location second location third location fourth location so this is nothing but even index this is nothing but even index this is nothing but even index like that then sir maximum digit present in the number sir minimum digit present in the number sir second second maximum digit present in the number sir second minimum digit present in the number second minimum digit present in the number okay sir sorted sorted digits okay sorted digits okay uh, in in maybe sorted digits in the sense ascending order same sorted digits in descending order okay so like that we can prepare n number of programs so, sir have you observed almost we got how many programs here if you if you if you count sir we are getting almost 12 programs with the same pattern with the same format how many programs we can able to do 12 programs sir maybe a chance of getting this type of question in your interviews also sir i think how we are going with this uh, a small problem in the last video on strings we have seen now in today's session i explained on uh, number related program number related program maybe tomorrow i will cover array related one program sir please confirm do you have any doubts up to this do you have any doubts up to this right sir so now i am going for a bit theory part a bit theory part sir where we can use python sir where we can use python you are telling daily python programs so python is very important and python is very easy to understand sir i am interested to join into the course but where in the real time i can apply this python sir everywhere we can apply sir everywhere we can apply so already we have seen the companies also the following are some of the some of the application areas some of the application areas where we can use python following are some of the application areas where we can use python for preparing desktop applications we can use python okay for preparing desktop applications i can use python maybe if time permits we will do this mini project also sir for this batch i am going to do n number of new new attempts i am trying sir okay sir i want to prepare a small gui application like this which will work only on my mission okay which will work only on my mission so what is that application is sir maybe i am expecting the date first i need to give you a date here then sir i want to give some kind of uh, uh, expenses expenses what is the expense of today what is the expense of today then i need to provide sir um, description description so what kind of description whether for what kind of activity you have spent that amount and what is the 
category okay what is the category of that particular uh, uh, income i mean expense then all these things i am going to take then i will do one option called add and then i am going to take one more button called clear we will implement this program sir don't worry we have add button is there we have clear button is there sir do you know on the back end i want to create a table okay on the back end i want to create a table so where in this table sir in this table in this table sir we can able to maintain we can able to maintain a data like this sir serial number okay serial number okay next and after that date next and after that date then expense what expense you have given sir description about that exception so category about uh, that particular uh, uh, expense whatever you are spending okay like that like that i can prepare a table sir i can prepare a table so whatever data you are giving it should be written to this serial number automatically it will take maybe date sir 8 slash 8 okay slash 22 expense maybe sir i have spent almost uh, rupees 850 rupees 850 rupees i spent okay sir on what activity maybe assume just uh, i i got some one minute yes let me take some kind of uh, um, yes any any flip card purchase any electronic electronic item okay and then category will become something like electronics or something like that so like that we can able to store the data okay so once if you perform entry operation on this once if you if you submit this this data and if you click on add it will take like this so that what will happen at the end of every month i can able to analyze based on category what uh, what how much amount you have spent based on description based on month wise based on day wise like that we can divide we can write queries and we can get the data it is a small desktop application every for every person it will be useful right so such a type of desktop applications which will run only on your mission such a type of things we can prepare or we can prepare web applications like maybe i can create a quiz a quiz okay and i will publish on our durga soft server and we can generate url and we can submit to you so that you can able to uh, enter your uh, registered number or registered mail id your name and then you can uh, click the correct answers finally if you submit the uh, submit the test the result will come and it will store in my database so such type of applications are called as web applications and even for database applications we can use the rest of the things i am not giving any examples and even in the network domain in the network domain we can use this uh, python and even in the gaming gaming technologies also we can use this python okay next and after that uh, data analysis have you observed that's why sir majority of the people are learning python in data analytics okay sir in all these applications definitely python is going to be used data analysis applications then sir mission learning mission learning especially so mechanical people civil people they are going to use in their softwares matlab some labs are there they can use this python software okay i think for mechanical third year or fourth year we have one laboratory is there so they need to write the code in python then for developing artificial intelligence okay so like we have n number of internet of things internet of things iot internet of things like this we have n number of application areas are there where we can use python sir okay just i am not going yeah devops also so i am not going in detail about this just to try to understand this is the theory concept sir this is nothing but where we can use python i think it is very clear for you so maybe tomorrow I will go with the one more short example, then keywords, identifiers, comments. So slowly we will start programming also. What is a sample steps to write the Python program? We will discuss a few programs also. I will give homework also on programs. You can able to solve parallelly. Sir, clear up to this. Is this today's session is useful or not? Please confirm. Have you learned something today?
yes so the people who are interested you can start registering by today or tomorrow okay yes so my previous python batches are different with respect to this batch sir because for this batch i am going to plan so many new things unwanted things i am going to remove and so many examples programming so many new things i am planning you can expect more from my side okay where i can find the syllabus as of now i didn't share the syllabus yeah today 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 videos also will be posted on youtube sir yeah so once if the link is going to change our admin people will send a mail for you on the register mail id okay so that you can able to get right sir thank you we will meet for the continuation tomorrow thank you